this brings us to another uh, pattern that we're going to take a look at which is the rising wedge so the rising wedge is a downtrend continuation pattern uh, basically it is formed when price consolidates between the uptrend sloppy uh, sloping support and resistance line so this uh, resistance and support lines over there uh, that is where it is basically formed so the slope of the support line of the support line is much steeper than that of the resistance because it is actually moving it is making some higher highs but they are very small compared to the higher lows that it is making so the higher more lows has more momentum to the upside than the higher highs so that's why we will have a steeper a more sloppy uh, support compared to the resistance this indicates that the higher lows are being formed faster than the higher highs this leads to a wedge like wedge like formation which is exactly where the chart pattern gets its name so with the price consolidating we know that a big splash is coming we can expect a breakout to either either the top or to the bottom side of, of this pattern if the rising wedge forms after an uptrend so if the trend was up and this uh, pattern forms it's usually a bearish reversal pattern it's usually a bearish reversal pattern so we might expect uh, the market to actually uh, breaks down to the downside if it forms during a downtrend like what you're seeing here right right now it could signal a continuation of, of a downward move so the continuation of this downtrend pattern right here so either way the important thing when you spot this forex trading uh, chart pattern you should be ready with your entry orders your entry orders must be set ready so here is a, a much more clear illustration as you can see we're in an uptrend and then we are making higher highs and higher lows but uh, basically the higher lows are moving faster than the higher highs making it uh, more making this support line more sloppier than this uh, line over here than our resistance line at the top so here we can expect a, a bearish reversal pattern it to be a bearish reversal pattern as we said in most cases but it can also be a continuation pattern after it breaks out to the top side right so uh, it just depends on what the market is doing and what is the momentum in that market and where the buyers or sellers are deciding to take the price to so a rising wedge formed at the end of an uptrend notice how the price action is forming new highs but at a much slower pace than when price makes higher lows in that same pattern take a look at what happened later so price makes a nice move downward to the downward so it broke through came back for a retest and then it just it just fell to the downside which was basically a bearish reversal pattern in this instance so the uptrend ended over there and then our bearish trend basically start, uh, took over so the bear, the bears basically took over the market from the bulls in this instance so here the price broke to the downside making this a uh, rising wedge a reversal pattern in this instance so the bears took over the market from the bulls that means that there are more forex traders desperate to be short than long in this market so they push the price down to break the trend line indicating that a downtrend may occur so just like other forex trading charts patterns this price movement after the breakout is approximately the same magnitude as the height of the formation so so after this breakout you are expecting the move to be as much as this amount of pips that the price moves in the initial move at the beginning of, of this rising wedge so in our above example the rising wedge formation acted as a reversal pattern but here in this case is actually bearish continuation signal so as you can see the market is falling down and then it formed our rising wedge as you can see higher highs and higher lows and then when it came here it broke out to the downside so the price came from a downtrend before consolidating and then uh, and sketching higher highs and even higher lows so the price broke to the downside and the downtrend basically continued after the price broke to the downside the downtrend continued this, this is why it's called a continuation signal the price made a nice move down to the downside that's the same height as the wedge so the same height as this part over there um, is what we uh, we were able to experience over there after it broke out of that and continued in the in the same direction so if a rising wedge is formed after an uptrend usually leads to a reversal a downtrend while a rising wedge formed during a downtrend you typically results in a continuation of that downtrend so if you spot it in an uptrend that's when you have to expect a reversal pattern so you you can expect it the market to actually go down moving the same amount of pips that it has moved over there is a reversal pattern but if it's a downward move is is it in a bearish market then we're actually expecting it to be a continuation pattern as you can see over there it continued in the downward side so this is why it is actually called a continuation pattern so let's move on so the rising wage actually has an uh, opposition as well which is the falling wage so it can either be a reversal or a continuation pattern as a reversal signal it is formed at the bottom of a downtrend 
indicating that the uptrend would come next so remember with the f with the rising wedge at the end of an uptrend it will actually signal a reversal but here in this uh, when it comes to the falling wedge at the end of a downtrend we can actually expect an uptrend to start forming when we find this falling wedge but it also acts as a continuation signal uh, when it forms during an uptrend like what you're seeing on the screen right there implying that the upwards price action would resume and continue in that in that direction so unlike the rising wedge the falling wedge is basically a bullish continuation chart pattern as you can see right there so a falling wedge as you can see is actually formed with lower highs and lower lows but the lower highs are more advanced than the lower lows so the falling wedge serves as a reversal signal after a downtrend the pattern made lower highs and lower lows notice how the, the falling trend line um connecting the highers is steeper than the trend line connecting the low so this line is much steeper due to the lower highs being, being more active than the lower lows here over here so this is making it less steeper over here but this is more steeper because of the movement of the market that is happening right now so and remember we said when it's a downtrend we are expecting it to uh, be a reversal pattern right we are expecting it to break out to the upside and be a reversal pattern because this is a falling wedge and for the rising wedge is the opposite. So as you can see, if, uh, this is basically how the pattern uh, ended up acting up. As you can see, huge upside breakout and obviously moving the say at least the same amount of pips as it uh, moved when it was going down. So it was breakout to the upside, which is a reversal pattern, right? So it's a reversal pattern uh, of the downtrend that was going on is that now the bulls are in charge of the market. So upon breaking above the top of the wedge, the pair made a nice move upwards that's approximately equal to the height of the formation uh, in this case the price rally went a few more pips beyond that target so that's why we said making use of trailing stop is more powerful uh, instead of using our take profits here's an example of a falling wedge that serves as a continuation signal so when the falling wedge forms during an uptrend it usually signals that the trend will resume later on and as you can see that is exactly what happened over here so uh, our bullish movement was going up and then when it formed over there when the uh, falling wedge formed it basically ended up being a, an, a breakout to the upside uh, and resuming our uptrend and so that basically acting as a continuation pattern in the uptrend so in this case the price consolidated for a bit after a strong rally to the upside this could mean that buyers simply paused to catch uh, their breath and probably recruited more people to join the bull camp whilst while sellers are being food or maybe getting bit of confidence even though their short positions are already in loss all of the sudden when it breaks out they obviously get stopped out and forced liquidation happens as we explained earlier about the uh, about the flags as well so see how the price broke to the top side and went on to climb higher so as you can see right here it climbed way up high after so it continued in the direction of the move and remember as we say we expect at least a movement of this amount so if it is 80 pips uh, this movement from where it breaks out and closes above resistance trend line over there it should be exactly the same amount of that amount of pips right so if we place an entry above the falling trend line connecting the pairs uh, peaks which are basically the highs over here we would have been able to jump in on the strong uptrend and caught some pips so a good upside target will be the same height of the wedge formation if you want to go for more pips you can lock in some of your profits at the target by closing down a portion of your position then let the rest of your position ride and the reason we do this we let our position ride is basically uh, we aim to keep our winning trades running uh, for longer and let them run uh, for longer and cut our losses short so if you have a winning trade the chances of you making way more than you can expect from that trade is pretty much high usually if you're trading in a trend right so if a trend is just continuing and is a really really powerful momentum in that trend you will be able to make the most money out of that trade so letting it run gives you more chances you know to increase your risk to reward ratio maybe you're risking ten dollars and you're aiming for thirty dollars risk to reward of one is to three uh, which is the most common when uh, if you follow the rules of this strategy that we're building up here then you'll be able to actually go beyond that one is to three and maybe even go beyond one is to five right in that same trade so that is why we're saying uh you should be able to lock your profits and just ride your position and make the most out of that position right